Next, our viewers are asking questions about their finances, and here with some answers is financial analyst Chad Slagle from Slagle Financial. Thanks for coming down Always again, Always good Chad. to be here, Kay. I have a question here from a viewer who asks, I have a 401k from a previous job. What's the best way to invest this 401k without taking a huge hit? Well, first of all, if it's a 401k from a previous employer or if you have a 401k and you are retired, the best thing to do is to take that 401k and roll it over to an IRA because your 401ks are company plans. They are set up to get you to retirement or to get you through that employer, not to get you through retirement. So number one, roll it over to an IRA. And a couple reasons for that is number one, you have a lot more investing options other than what's inside of that 401k because you're probably limited with that. But also it puts you in control of that money. And some people, if you have another 401k you're putting into, maybe you take a little more risk with that and that money you move out of that 401k into an IRA, maybe you take, put that money in a little more of say safe havens or safer places, especially in the volatile markets that we have right now. Mm -hmm. All right, how can someone know how much exposure they have in their portfolio to help make educated decisions on their money? Well, no, this is a good question. This is something we see so often today, especially with the past couple of weeks. We had a big scare in the market. The Fed come out and said, hey, you know, 2014, we're going to start taking some of the stimulus away. And it really made the market go down, really scared a lot of people. So if you're 55, 60, 65 years of age, you number one, you should know exactly what you're paying on fees. Even if you're 25 or 30, you should know exactly what you're paying on fees for your accounts. And if, if you're sitting out there and you have investments in your 401k, your IRA, your brokerage accounts, you you should know exactly what you're paying to the penny in those fees. The problem is 80 to 90 percent of the people that we talk to on a daily basis have no idea. The other thing is you need to have a risk analysis done. You should know exactly how much risk you're taking in the portfolio. In other words, if we have a 10, 20, or even a 30 percent correction like we had back in 2008, you should know how that would affect your portfolio and are you comfortable taking that much risk, especially where the market is at all-time highs. Okay. Recent volatility in markets brings back memories of investors from 2000. 2007 and 2008. What and how are you communicating with your clients to ease their minds? I guess this is the biggest thing. Number one is having that safe risk ratio. If you're 50, 60 years of age, 50 to 60 percent of your money should be in safe or safer investments, not, not take a lot of risk. And maybe if you've had some good gains and you've taken a lot of risk here in the past three to four years, that's a good thing because the market's up. Maybe now it's time to harvest some of those gains, take some of that money, sit it on the sidelines, wait for this market to settle out, figure out what the Fed's going to do, what changes the government's going to make, and then maybe jump back in to the market but with these uncertain times you want to focus on things that you cannot can control don't focus on things you cannot control which are the markets and the government control how your money's invested what your money's invested like i talked about exactly what you're paying in fees and how much risk you're taking with your portfolio right now all right chad slagle thanks so much for the advice we'll be right back with news channel 5 at noon don't go away